What's up with you? It's Zadoy's TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're gonna be checking out a unique Spirit Tomb list. This is gonna be Spirit Tomb Frostlass. I think this deck has uh, kind of a little bit of a potential because of course it is a one price deck and uh, it has of course type coverage with of course the Frostlass which can also one shot things like Reshizar which is awesome. The, the list is uh, purely based around, of course, draw power. So we're going to be putting in a 2-2 two -two line of Substrika in here in combination with Jirachi. So getting us uh, to a reset stamp, uh, it doesn't matter too much. We always have draw power. We want to get out of our, our Spirit Tombs as early as possible. So we can use the Building Spike to put damage counters onto Spirit Tomb. And with Anguish Cry, we can dish out 10 damage plus 30 more for each damage counter on this Pokemon. If we attach a Rainbow Energy, we also get a damage counter. So that is always interesting. We have Mew, of course, to protect our bench because, uh, let's say, they use... Uh, spread shen shenanigans we are actually gonna get destroyed so uh, we want to protect our bench and keep it safe as possible also helps out against the tag ball gx of of course pikachu and zacron tag team we also have a 1-1 one -one line of aerodactyl in here it helps a lot against pikaron but also helps out against dark box or against those decks that just uh, rely on attaching too many energies in total also this list uh, runs one copy of the Nigel Ligo, comes in handy uh, late game to just one shot a Mewtwo out of nowhere. Sometimes if they see it come, they smack Jirachi down, but we do have Power Plant. We have a split between Shrine and Power Plant. Uh, it, I definitely want to get more Power Plant in this list, but I couldn't find the room for it. But uh, a reset stamp uh, in combination with a Power Plant just kills a lot of decks, so that is awesome. Also a second reset stamp would be nice, but I couldn't find the room for it because I want to have those thick consistency lines with Zipstrike and Jirachi so that we don't break too often. The main supporters is our of course gonna be El Elm's Lecture which can get out of course our Snorrens, our Spirit Tombs, our uh, Blitzel, our Mew, our Ditto, almost everything in the deck. There's also communication to swap out for what we want and we have of course Cynthia as our main draw power. We could also maybe rely on other supporters but I think that is just fine. Cynthia in combination with the Sprint will definitely get us the, the combo pieces we need. There's uh, two Escape Board in here and then one copy of Switch because sometimes you start with a Boswell or, or uh, something that has a high retreat which is actually the only thing that has a high retreat so sometimes that one copy of switch could help out in certain situations and then uh yeah for the energy spread we're gonna be running three darkness energies uh two water energies and then four rainbow energy so uh that is gonna be the list for today so the darkness energies are mainly for spirit tomb our main attacker which is easily to just attach and attack so that's why there's more uh darkness energies and water energies but adding another water energy could also be fine but this is the list that i'm working on right now i definitely want to have like something that can destroy rashes art with abilities because of course the sheffield regionals took place last weekend i played quagna and drowned and breaking in a lot of stuff so that's why maybe I'm just uh, yeah, putting a lot of consistency cards like Zipstrika and Jirachi in this particular list but we're gonna try out Spirit Tomb and see how it goes we're already facing off against Fire which is good this is a Hopefully a favorable matchup. I already thought that with Quagnac as well. I went like 3-0 at one point at the tournament and then I got like 4-4-1. So it has the most average tournament I had in a long while. So that's why I decided, nope, not Quagnac anymore because the, the, the problem with Quagnac is that it's a good deck if you can get it out. But the problem is that Ninetales is there to just uh, go over and just use Nine Temptation to just destroy your whoopers. Okay, we do see we're up against the Reshizar build. So we're definitely gonna be setting up our uh, Substriker with Sprint because they typically uh, are going to be using Using those um okay they could custom catch they could do that i'm actually gonna yeah i'm gonna go for this communication we're gonna put the the zip striker or actually the frost last that uh, doesn't matter too much let's put the frost last back and uh, we're actually gonna use sentia regardless so right let's get out a uh, snorrent let's see what is prized we have Nigel Eager to come out of nowhere to just copy something when the shrines could cuck in and we have power plan not that it matters in this matchup but still Okay, the shrines are more important than the power plant and the energy spread. Uh, almost all of our energies are in there except for one darkness energy. Hustle belt also boosts the damage output. I forgot to say that in the, the uh, deck profile here. Uh, yeah, the um, hustle belt will make sure that we can get, of course, that uh, extra damage output if we have uh, 30 HP or uh, less remaining, which is nice. Okay, we're going to use a uh, fresh Cynthia here. We already have the shrine, which we can kick in later. Uh, I don't think we need to bench anything at this point, so we're just gonna go for Stellar Wish. We have a communication, so that means... Yeah, we say we have Cynthia on hand, so that means a second turn Frostlass could come out of nowhere, or maybe we could go with the Spirit Tomb if we find a Hustle Belt for some reason. He could uh, Welder onto it and uh, destroy us, but then we come in with, of course, uh, Frostlass. So I think this uh, setup is fine. Getting a Rainbow Energy on here is also fine i guess so we can uh, boost the damage output of our uh, spirit tomb a little bit further and i think we're gonna call it a day we could also smack down another jirachi now that i think about it so if our uh, this jirachi gets knocked out we have a second one to spare 
Bam! That is our first turn. So as you see, the deck is consistent. We have Jirachis, we have some Strikers, no more bricking around. So uh, I, I always love to make like one prize decks, just make unique decks like this. Frostless is just a... Uh, yeah, I'm just a very, very big fan of a Frostless because I played it at Worlds as well. I did play Frostless Lucario. That went really well, way better than Quackmack. So <laughs> I'm always uh, representing the anti-meta side of things and uh, there's no difference here. At uh, local uh, cups and challenges, I do play the meta to just get my points, but at uh, big tournaments, I always try to get something unique and uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see how it turns out. So we do see that the opponent is getting a greens exploration as early as possible. So uh, the good news is that our list also runs custom catchers. So if he smacks down that Charizard, uh, if we sub strike and Cynthia, we might draw into like two custom catchers and then we can destroy uh, the rest of his art immediately with a Frostlass. So that is interesting. Okay, we do see the giant heart. There's nothing in our hand that we want to get rid of. So I guess uh, we just overlap it with the shrine. We don't want to use like uh, the giant heart for nothing. Although, yeah, baby boss could also one shot a Volcanion. They do have 120 HP. Oh, was that a Snorlax? It's a Snorlax, ladies and gentlemen. That is very, very crazy to see because if Shrine sticks around for a couple of turns, this uh, baby boss could actually do lots of work. Okay, love to see what's going on here. He's playing Snorlax. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, the power plant is useless, so let's over let's get rid of that, so we don't draw into it. Also, we're gonna check. Yeah, we have three frostlass in the deck. How many spirit tombs do we have? Yeah, one. There seems to be one spirit tomb primes and a custom catcher as well. Okay, cool. No problem here. We'll just smack down this. We're gonna be using Substrika. We're actually gonna evolve one of our uh, little Snorrens into a frostlass. He's not getting out Rashi's art, so he's probably afraid of that. So that's going on, uh, yeah, evolving this little guy. So we have a Frostlass, we have a Spirit Tomb, let's build the, the spike to just dish out more damage. Hopefully we will draw into like a Switch, a Skateboard and a Hustle Belt. Okay, we have Double Custom Catcher, a Hustle Belt as well. Oof, we could already start punishing the opponent if we want to. Hustle Belt goes here. And now we just need a Switch. Switch is gonna be the thing we need. Okay, we have the escape board. Jirachi finding its puzzle pieces is fantastic. We also have Aerodactyl ready. So if this is gonna be fantastic to see here. So let's uh, retreat our little Jirachi, go over to the good side of things. Because of that first turn rainbow energy, we are definitely gonna be in a good position. Also, not gonna use a striker. We have Aerodactyl in hand. Also gonna wait with Evolving. So he's not that gonna catch her or out or ditto. That's never gonna happen. He could do that if he knows I'm playing Aerodactyl, but uh, I don't think so. Here comes the Anguish Cry. So 160 already on uh, our first attacking turn. So that is crazy. So Spirit Tomb showing the work here. Hustle Belt in combination with, of course, uh, the Rainbow Energies and the Building Spite. Turns out it is very good. And the Shrine also kicking in some damage if he adds another, another energy. Yeah, he doesn't even need to attach another energy. Aerodactyl will eat that guy up alive because all of our rainbow energies are in the deck. Green's Exploration. What is it gonna do? Cherish Ball, Charizard? If he has Charizard, then Frostlass is just gonna have an awesome time. We'll see how it goes. He has to get out another Pokemon, although he could say like, ah, uh, my Snorlax can survive a hit. He could also think that, but he doesn't know that. Okay, he does get out a Cherish Ball, so we are gonna see a Rush's Art. Or are we? Is he gonna wait? No, he is gonna to just get out that Rush's Art because he knows he's in trouble. We have the double custom catcher, so Frostus can, can take three KOs. Oh! <laughs> he doesn't bench it! He doesn't bench it. Well, he's in for a whole lot of trouble right now. Because the only thing we need is a Rainbow Energy. Okay. We could... Firstly, let's evolve this. And secondly, we want to just... Stellar Wish, Cynthia? No, let's get rid of this Elm. We're gonna grab this Elm and... Uh, next up, we will retreat. And uh, just thin out the deck with the Jirachi here. Stellar Wish again. Okay, we have a communication. We're actually gonna destroy all of these cards. Okay, we already retreated, so it's very scary. We need we need to find our rainbow energy right now. We haven't played a supporter yet, but also gonna get rid of that. Very scary, very scary. Maybe we should have switched first. Oh well. Let's go in, all or nothing. It's all or nothing. Oh, come on. Zip Striker, get that rainbow energy. If we don't get it, we're actually gonna be in a little bit of trouble. 
Come on, Rainbow Energy. Okay, there we have it. We even have the Poke Gear, which will, of course, find a Cynthia. All right. Yeah, but we have the Rainbow Energy, so this is game. It was a little bit risky, but all the Rainbow Energies were in there, so there, that's that. Just want to thin out the deck with the Stellar Wishes, so uh, <laughs> well played. And uh, that's going to be it. So Aerodactyl takes this game. That's why he's in here for situations like this. Okay. That was kind of easy. Against Grease Reshazard playing that Snorlax. I thought he was playing Lugia GX. I, I uh, came across a very great player, Jack Col if I remember correctly, he was playing the Lugia GX with Lost Purge in his Reshazard build. It turns out that uh, that uh, Lugia can dish out 170 damage. I would power plant out that actually one shot the Caldeo GX. So my Quagnac was just drowning in like problems all around. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be playing another round with this crazy Frostblast Spirit Tune deck. Uh, I created it from scratch, so if you guys want to. Uh, Learn the process of me making decks. I just want to counter the meta so hard because we're just playing abilities hard. And uh, this Frostless Spirit Tomb deck seems like a great answer. It does have a terrible matchup against Mewtwo if you don't have like your uh, OP combination with Reset Stamp Power Plan. But uh, against other matches, okay. We do see that we're facing probably Mewtwo or Reshazard. So if it's Reshazard, we could showcase that it's capable of doing something. Oh, we cannot even start. We are a setup deck. This is gonna be bad. We can attack on the first turn, but only dishing out 40 damage with a spare tomb is sad. Okay, this hand is also terrible. We have a Snorrent and we have a Pokegear. Actually, two Pokegear that could search out an Elm's Lecture or a Cynthia. Hopefully, an Elm's Lecture. We definitely need some backup here. Okay, this is Custom Catcher Wilder. Mewtwo. Oh, Mewtwo. Oh no, with Cynthia's? Mewtwo with Cynthia's. Could it be that? Hmm. Welder and Psychic Energies suspect, of course, a Mewtwo. We got an initial... Okay, we have a communication. That is not too bad. Or maybe the Psychic type is it just a Mew? I don't know. Ultra Space. Ultra Space. Oh! Blacephalon. Blacephalon. Okay, I happily take on a Blacephalon. I'm, I'm very fine doing that. The good news is that we have an energy, so that means we can manually retreat and just uh, get our Jirachi in the active position as early as our first turn, even if we start breaking. So, we can do that, at least. I think I'm gonna do that first before I use Poke Gear. so we definitely get our Elm. We definitely need our Elm. Okay, Blastephalon's up. I actually cut out the Tapu Fini from the list, which is, uh, might uh, reconsider that. Okay, we have another Snorin to go around. The good news is, we can even tin out the deck to just get out a Nigel Ego out of nowhere. Boswell seems to be prized. There are all the uh, spirit tombs are in there. Is Ditto priced? Aerodactyl could be having some fun here. Nope. Uh, uh, the Ditto is priced. All custom catchers are in there. Power plant, shrine. Okay. What do we have in hand? Okay. Power plant and shrine is priced. And all of our energy seems to be in the deck. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. So no Ditto getting that out. So let's get this guy out. Next, we're going to communication away the. Yeah, it's a striker for next turn. So. Yeah, we're gonna save our Zubstrika. We're gonna get out Jirachi. I definitely want to get out some Spirit Tombs because otherwise things will turn out grim. So we get one Darkness Energy over here. I know it's a Darkness Energy, don't care about it too much. We will retreat and then we will Stellar Wish first before we Poke Gear. Okay, we have a Cynthia if things turn out grim. But we also have two Poke Gears. We need to find that Elm. That is the main thing. Okay, here it is. Alms Lecture. Hello. Welcome to the party. So, uh, let's do this. Let's get out a Blitzel. And a couple of Spirit Tomb. I think that's fine. Maybe two Blitzel should be fine. But we do have Cynthia on the hand. So, it doesn't even matter if he targets our Blitzel. That means our Snorin survives. As well as Jirachi. So, Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb. And, yeah. Let's smack this down. Let's get this on board. We'll definitely get a Frostlass. There's a lot of communication and Frostlass in the deck, so not gonna use Poke Gear just yet. Although if we use Poke Gear right now, we might top deck a Frostlass. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, another Cynthia. Okay, that's good. And uh, that's called it. So board position is fine. We have Jirachi early game. We have Substrika the other turn, so that's good. If Mew stays in the active, we... Oh yeah, the Mews are pretty scary because Mew can put three damage counters on our Pokemon any way we like and any way he likes. So if uh, Spirit Tomb has too much damage, he can go after it, which is a little bit scary. 
I wonder what he will do. If he puts three damage counters on our spirit tomb right now, that's a whole lot of trouble for him because with, of course, a hustle belt, we can destroy those Suppalon. Okay, there's an Aganadel GX, which can snipe, but uh, he needs four energies and I don't see that anytime soon, unless he's in a beast ring turn. For now, we're fine. We have two Schnorrens, two spirit tombs, a Blitzel. Things should be fine. I love creating so like unique decks. I just love it so much. And definitely when they work out. I, I thought that Quagnac was a, a whole different story, but Frostlass is always treating me right. Okay, he's definitely gonna swing in with uh, the Nagadadels. The good news is he has to come with Blacephalon because uh, Nagadadel has, of course, a Psychic type and we have Resistance. So I do love the HP of Jirachi. It's just enough to just survive a turning point. He could Mew, he could do that, but we're definitely going to destroy this Mew anytime soon. So we still have some retreat options left. We can Cynthia, Sprint and Stellar Wish all at the same time. These are necessary for the Blacephalon. We have Custom Catchers in deck, all of them. So if things turn out okay, we just get two prize cards on this. We can also Venom Shot with Nigaligo late game. So maybe Shrine sh should kick in a couple of turns. And Mew with three damage counters could help this uh, set up. Okay. Is he gonna retreat and use that Burst GX? Yeah, he is gonna go crazy with the Burst GX. I'll take it. We'll do upgrade on that very nicely with, of course, a little Snorrens evolving into Frostlass. Only used one Pokemon communication so far. So Burst GX will get him a prize. Hopefully not an energy. Okay, an energy. Okay, you can take it. You can take it. So it's okay. I don't mind. He's definitely gonna put it on. Yeah, he's gonna put it on himself. Why not? Why wouldn't he put it on this guy? Yeah, burst yeah, and attach it to one of. Yeah, he should have attached it to the other one, not to this guy, because there's a risk of him getting. Of course, we get Zip Striker out. We got one energy over here, and the only thing we will be needing, you could have guessed it, is a switching card. Okay, we have Frost last number one. We're not gonna get rid of Aerodactyl, although Aerodactyl will not help out in this situation. So I'm just gonna discard Aerodactyl. So let's get rid of. Although, although, although. Getting rid of a Striker is just terrible. So I'm gonna put. Yeah, I'm gonna save Aerodactyl. I'm gonna put that back in the deck. Get out another Frostlass. Okay, so next up, we use the Ultra Space. We get. Nigaligo. We just need a switching card. Switching card so badly. So how do we get to do that? Smacking down this. Custom catch for one. We just need to switch. So we need to deck as bad. Okay, we have the rainbow energy. So bad that we have to get rid of that. So first things first. How do we get a switch card? First we sprint and then we Jirachi. I think that's fine. Oh, Nigaligo goes away, which is sad. No switching cards! Oh my! I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared right now. We we whiffed on the skateboard. So we are a couple of prize cards behind. Don't like to see that. Don't like to see that at all. So, oof, this is gonna be tough. We even threw away the Nigaligo here. So whiffing on that skateboard or switch is huge. The opponent will love that, of course, but that's sad. Okay, he could... Our Jarchi is still active, so that means we are still gonna go evenly in prize cards because the only thing that can take a prize card is this Blastophalon right here. And uh, we dish out 220 damage, so 220 damage should be uh, plenty enough to just destroy that if we have our Hustle Belt on one of our Spirit Tombs. Still not worried too much, even though we whiffed out on a, a crucial card here. We dish out 160 if we get a rainbow energy, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with Frostlass. He could custom catch if he has that. Custom catch one of the Frostlass. We have two of them, so should be good. He retreats, and he's gonna go with Naganadel. 80 damage. Turning If we wake up, we manually retreat. That is the logical solution here. Okay, Pokey Gear. Let's get rid of... <laughs> yeah, all these cards are just meh. Oh yeah, he cannot also use the uh, Ultra Conversion because Power Plant is active. So let's put one Hustle Belt over here. Next up, we get one Energy. 
Yeah, the hustle bell will take care of that. So energy over there, and then we Cynthia. Where is our switching card? Okay, another hustle belt. Oof. We're actually gonna have to put a lot of work in here. So, Pokegear, hopefully there's an Elm. <laughs> there's not an Elm. I wanted to discard that with Substrika. We need to find... Yeah, we can still Stellar Wish, but still. Sprint first. Let's get rid of these guys. <laughs> oh, now it shows up. Finally. A little bit late to the party, though. We have a custom catcher. Two custom catchers. That is fine. I'll take that any day. Two custom catchers. And uh, we will actually go... Oh, <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Yeah. Just gonna go after the Blacephalon here. Do we go after the Blacephalon or do we save the custom catchers for this guy? He could snipe us, but we can get out Mew in at, at one point. Now with the beast, beast ring turns could be life. I'm not gonna be putting a damage counter on this guy, otherwise Mew can come in. Not wanna be seeing that. Hmm. Taking two prize cards is obviously better than one. Okay, that Mew is just so annoying. Uh, all right, here it comes. We need to put mm, 180 damage, so that's 50. Five, 100, 200 damage on the Blacephalon. Okay, that's good. At one point, he will have to come with that Nag and Adele, and we need just to save for one of these guys with Hustle Bell to just dispose of this Nag and Adele. We'll see how it goes. Probably gonna attack our Frazas here. This Frazas will destroy this Naganadel. It's gonna be risky. We cannot put damage counters on our Spirit Tombs, otherwise they will get uh, destroyed by this Mew. Okay, Cherish Ball. He's still power planted, so at a low hand size, if he doesn't get out his stuff, it should be fine. No B-strings will uh, ensure uh, a crazy play. Okay, there's a Heatran. Heatran will not work if uh, the power plant sticks. Okay, charging up. Four energies. Is he gonna retreat? Is he gonna go for the Mew? Probably gonna go for the Mew play here. Mew can just discard, destroy Frostless. If he goes for the Mew, that's fine. Because we can destroy that with a baby Buzzwall. So that means our Frostless is safe. Although keeping that rainbow energy for one of the spirit tombs should be better because if we... Eh. At one point we will have to get, uh, of course, damage counters on our spirit tombs, but for now, I think we're good. Bonin is doubting. He's in a power planted situation. Five cards in hand. He cannot use ultra conversion. What is he gonna do? Okay, he's gonna go with Heatran, manual attach. Custom catch for one. Hopefully he will find the stadium card he needs or a supporter. If not, power plant will be OP. Another cherish ball. Okay, he gets a, a cherish ball from a custom catcher. That's fine. This is also weak to water, by the way. So even if he attacks, <laughs> that is a mistake, boy. Power plant is here. Power plant is here. The Danny is done. So I think he's gonna scoop at this point. Yeah, Spirit Tombs, just doing the work. We could destroy this at one point, which is so awesome to see here. Just a little bit scared of the Mew, because Mew sometimes can, if we just put those at five damage counters each, he can just use uh, the, uh, yeah, that's it. We won, so Spirit Tomb Frawls last. Check it out, guys. Let me know what you think about the list. Would you change anything about the list? I know this is one of uh, one of my other rogue creations, but it works out. It works online, it, everything works out, I guess. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.